Have you invested in United States savings bonds this week? How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is your host, Kenny Delmar, introducing Guest Star, one of a series of programs produced and transcribed in New York and presented by this station and United States Savings Bonds as a public service. Our guest for this program, dainty Miss Dynamite, Beatrice Kay. But before you meet the sweetest Sue Brett of them all, here are the Savings Bonders and the Savings Bond Orchestra under the direction of Dennis Agay, who inform us that this is God's country. <laughs> You're in God's country. A hundred million rulers can't be wrong. Oh, give a hand, oh, give a hand, give a cheer for the land. Where smiles are broader, freedom greater. Every man is his own dictator. Hi there, Yankee, give up the great big thank you. You're in God's country. The queen of the music halls, the lovely lady of the gay 90s, meet the charming, shy maiden of the mauve decade, Beatrice Kay. Hi, Jackson. Give me some skin. That was a Mellaroonie knockdown. What? Oh, don't be square, Kenny. Don't you dig me? Beatrice, what kind of talk is that? Square, Mellaroonie, dig me. That's jive talk, Kenny. It's hep, groovy, modern. Yeah, but Beezy, baby, you're not a jitterbug. Why, you represent the period of elegance and leisure, the gay 90s. When men wore high hats and sideburns. Yeah, and women wore rumble seats. Well, bustles to you. <laughs> bustles to you, too. <laughs> Besides, Kenny, why, you should know better. After all, we were in the same class in school together, and I don't see any gray hairs on you, Senator. But me? Ever since that fatal day, I sang ta ra ra bum and started that gay night of rage. The public's put me on a spot. Now every time that I get hot, I get the bird. In a gilded cage. I want to sing. Put up mixer, pot it for tea. Put up mixer, pot it for tea. But when I do, I get 23 skidoo. And I'm back where I started from. Oh, they stuck me with a bustle. They've got me living in the days of good old smelling salt. They said other girls can swing and sway. You, you got a waltz. The fellas take a look and say, Hey, tell me, true or false? Oh, they stuck me with a bottle. They made me look like Lillian Russell. My sponsor says I have to sing those real old-fashioned numbers. My contract says I mustn't do those congas or those rumbas, because all the little kiddies think I came over with Columbus. <laughs> ah, shut up. Oh, they stuck me with a bottle. Take back your conga, ah, your rumba, ah, your samba, ah, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Come on, come on, oh, all on. right, all right, all right, I'll do it. They stuck this hat upon my head, this parasol by my knee. They draped this thing around my neck, now I look like a Christmas tree. Then they stuck me with a bustle. In the shade of the old apple tree that where now that's the curse of them taking home. Ah, 
Beatrice. That was wonderful. Well, I, I kind of like to hear you sing the old-fashioned songs best. Always the same story. I try to get in the groove, and everyone wants to keep me in a rut. Yeah, but there's a reason for everyone being so fond of the gay 90s. Ah, those were the good old days. Life was slower paced, more dignified, more romantic. More corn. Yeah, no, no, I, I don't know about that. They tell me in the old days when you saw a man on one knee, you knew he was proposing. But today, a man on one knee, Al Jolson. <laughs> well, if you think the old days were more romantic, suppose we react to gay 90 romance. You and me, roundy down. Let's get started. The living room of the K residence, the lights are low, and so is the ceiling. Miss Beatrice, shy, demure, is sitting on the horsehair sofa, and the horsehair sofa is sitting on Kenny, her suitor. <laughs> Ken, Ed? Uh, yes, Miss Beatrice? <laughs> We're all alone now. Frightening, isn't it? <laughs> You're so strong and masterful. Oh, I'm not so strong. I know, but Mama told me to say so. Uh, Miss Beatrice, uh, may I, uh, that is, would you mind if I, uh, oh, what I mean is, is it all right if I sat on the couch with you? On the other end, of course. Why, Kenneth, how bold. I know, but I want to be near you, close to you. Why, sir? Oh, don't say no, let me be near you, uh, reasonably near you, that is. But you are near me. Well, how can you say that? There you are on the sofa, and here I am in this chair at the other end of the room. But it's such a small room. Uh, hi, young man. What are you doing so near my daughter? Oh, Kenneth wasn't doing anything, Papa. Kenneth has been behaving like a perfect gentleman. He has? Doesn't like you, eh? Oh, no, Mr. K. I'm... Uh, that is, I, I do like Miss Beatrice. Oh, I can, eh? <laughs> well, then, young man, are your intentions honorable or otherwise? Papa, stop giving him a choice. Mr. K, it's, uh, I don't know if I want to be a married man. What's wrong with marriage? Papa, if he answers that, he'll never propose. But, uh, but I think you're a wolf, son. Oh, Kenneth, how wonderful. Well, folks do say I've got a beautiful baritone howl. Well, as I was saying, you're a wolf, and my little girl is a sweet and tender blossom of womanhood. And she don't know how to handle a wolf like you. But I'm learning, Papa. Besides, it's... It's easy to put a wolf in his place. It is? Yes. The only trouble is, once you've put him in his place, <laughs> what do you do with him? Why not sing him the songs that you recorded? All right, Kenny, I'll, I'll start with one of my latest recordings. It's very sad, and I must ask you all to be very quiet, please, because I sing this song very loud. Are you made me? Oh, what I am today. I hope you're satisfied. You dragged and dragged me down until my soul within me died. <laughs> How does the old girl do it? I don't know. Then we recorded Rufus Rastus Johnson Brown. What you gonna do when the rent comes round? What you gonna say? How you gonna pay? You'll never have a bit of sense till Judgment Day. Then we made a very sad recording. It was how, how sad. She's only a bird in a gilded cage. A beautiful sight. And had a beauty was sold for an old man's gold. And she took every penny that poor boy ever had. And she's a bird in a gold head. A Then we tried a little English song to record. There was I, a whiting at the church, a whiting at the church, a whiting at the church. She said, I can't get to why to marry you to die. My wife won't let me. But the next has always been my favorite. It was made famous by the beloved Eva Tangway. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. 
Nobody sleep while Kay is singing. I don't care, I don't care If people don't like me Why I'm happy-go-lucky Men say I'm plucky So jolly and carefree I don't care, I don't care If I do get the mean and don't stare My voice may sound funny <laughs> But it's getting me the money Beatrice, those gay 90 songs, simply beautiful. Oh, but things are better, Kenny, today. Why, take money, for instance. I'd love to. <laughs> Back in the 90s, they had those big size bills, but today, everything is streamlined, and the bills are smaller and more convenient. Yeah, and just as hard to get. Not at all. Why, today, with United States saving bonds, you can, you can get $4 for every $3 you invest in just 10 years. How true, Beatrice, how true. And convenient. Well, with the payroll savings plan, you save regularly and easily right where you work. By having the boss set aside a certain amount from your salary each week, he takes care of all the details for you. Mm -hmm. Payroll savings of United States Savings Bond sure is an improvement over the gay 90s method of stashing the bankroll in the mattress. And safer. Why, United States Savings Bonds are the safest and finest investment in the world because they're backed by our government. Beatrice, my beauty, your logic is as perfect as your singing. So, <laughs> I suggest that everyone stop by at his bank or post office or arrange through payroll savings to uh, buy United States Savings Bonds regularly. They're the greatest safeguard for a happy future. <laughs> Signing off for guest star, one of a series of programs presented by this station and United States Savings Bond as a public service. Guest star is produced and transcribed in New York. I'd like to thank Beatrice Kay for being with us. And until next we meet, here's a question to remember. Have you invested in United States Savings Bonds this week? They're a goodbye. Goodbye, that is. Goodbye.